Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review another obsession palette and this time we are going to make, create this makeup look with this one, Love Every Shade palette. It's a beautiful palette that you can, that you can create a very nice, smoky, intense eye, eye look or soft eye look. But this palette is beautiful. And of course, for the whole face, like I did last time when we reviewed the cool down palette, I'm going to use this palette. You got this all over my face and contour, bronze, highlight and do everything. Blush also with this palette. And it's because we like it and it's because of another obsession review and try out first impression video. That was a long name. So if you want to see me using uh, this on my eyes and uh, create this makeup look, then please keep on watching. So guys, let's go into the palettes. I'm going to do my face with this one, uh, like I did in the last video, and do the same thing. I'm going to contour with this, bronze with this one. I'm going to use this one as my blush. I'm going to use these two as my highlighter. And yeah, so I'm going to do this fast because I already did this, I did review it in the last video. So I'm going to do it fast this time. But so let's watch. I just want to say that I'm trying out a new primer and on this side I do have the primer and on this side I don't have the primer and right now I can see the difference and feel the difference when I blend the bronzer because here with the primer it blended flawless easy even but on this side it's grabbing on a couple of places and it looks a little bit patchy and this side is without the primer Let's go over to the eyes and I did prime my eyes with a Milani primer and set it with this Rimmel Stay Matte powder just to keep the crease away. And let's start with this palette. I'm going to use uh, this shade Zeal on my, in my crease as my transition shade. Now first I'm going to use this Fresh all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to go into this zeal in my crease as the tr transition shade. Then I'm going to take this blending brush and go into unique here and blend that right into the crease then I'm going to go in with this shade to dock up a little bit edges but I'm going to use a very small brush and I'm going to use this brush I don't know what number it is Just here, I'm not going to bring it too far in. I want to use another shade there. Then um, with the same brush, I'm going to clean it a little bit, go into the, li the light, I think it's called. Then 
this one is a little bit shimmery so it doesn't want to show without with the dry brush but it does show but not as intense as you can make it when you wet the brush but we are not going to do that I don't want it that intense so now I'm going to go in with thrill and that for that I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to wet it I'm going to wet it with this spray And then I'm going to clean that brush and use Feel, this light pink, and wet the brush also. Ooh, this one is pretty. We'll go back with this brush and take that dark delight shade again and just try to Blend the it here. And I'm going to go in with the smaller blending brush that we had in the crease. Where is it? And blend everything together without any eyeshadow. Nice. And then I'm going to take this brush. This is number eight. And use unique this one under the eyes so what I want to do is to take that pointing brush clean it from the pink and use this one the winner very close to my lower lash line and I'm going to wet it of course Ooh, beautiful then I'm going to use the a clean brush and use this fresh under my eyebrows but not on under and I'm going to go back into this palette and I want to use use uh, this one in the corner I'm not going to wet it. So I'm going to do mascara and eyelashes and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. I think it turned out beautiful. I did mess it up a little bit here with the eyeliner. I'm sorry. I sneezed and it went wrong. But I really like this palette. I think it's beautiful and I can't open it with my nails. Tweezers, use it. And I really like it. It's a little bit powdery and you have to build it up the pigmentation. But I really think it's a beautiful palette and you can create so many great makeup looks. Very smoky or very light natural looking. Right now I used every shade in here just to show you how you can use it but this one love every shade it's a beautiful palette i do recommend it i do like it uh, the packaging is not the best but it's it's a nice palette and of course uh, you can create many makeup looks with this and don't forget to the end of my giveaway thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye